Don in London, hello, July 8th. My video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol, my behaviour equally addictive, I realise now, around people, places and things. Trying to be with the right people, in the right place, with the right things, doing the right things. Always, always trying to fit in. And these days, I still try and fit in, but in a different way, which is to be sober one day at a time, learn how to keep being sober, look to the good in life rather than the bad or the problems in life, be a solution rather than a problem. So one day at a time I've learned how not to drink alcohol and how to behave consistent with being included with people and places and things, needs met, wants forgotten not trying to be perfect, just trying to be a learner in life today. So what's made this possible? Well, friends, family, community, medical people, professional people, they all played their part in helping me get to a moment of clarity and beyond. And also a fellowship, and that fellowship is AA, Alcoholics Anonymous. I share about AA because it is part of my recovery and, and ongoing recovery. But I do not represent AA, never can, never will. It's full of unique, authentic people, individuals who speak for themselves where they will. So when I do these videos, I'm speaking about my experience, strength and hope of living sober with the help of fellowship, that's AA, plus family, friends, community and professionals. So it takes quite a lot of input and being open to change, always on a daily basis and yesterday was quite interesting in terms of what's happening to our nation our nation is waking up to the fact that many parts of the media and in particular one part of the media has been telling lies consistently for years and years and years which has led to the closure of a newspaper similarly but not and in, in any way connected, it was the last Harry Potter film premiere in London yesterday. And I was able to get to Trafalgar Square on my way to get something for my bicycle, which is very necessary. And it was closed in and exclusive, which is quite different from the way I live my life, which is inclusion, inclusion as best I can be in what's going on around me. So I was able to look in from the outside at a closure of a newspaper and also the same for a premiere of a, a film and a series which has been going on, going on for a number of years and has impacted on the people in my country quite heavily. Everybody knows who Harry Potter is. Everybody knows the news of the world in my country. So what's that got to do with anything? Well, I view it differently these days. I view how life is differently. I can be included where I can be. I can to listen to what is being said and judge fairly and squarely what is right and what is wrong. So a good aspect, if you like, a, a conclusion on Harry Potter, but I'm sure many people will enjoy it. And the end of uh, a p newspaper better known for its lies rather than its own honesty and certainly those who own it who are excluding themselves from the process of letting go of it I guess damage limitation so in the old days I had damage limitation in spades my way of dealing with damage to me and my insides and my feelings was to take a drink to take the edge off and to judge the world rather than actually get on with living in the world so, there you go, bit of what happened to me yesterday. Today though, n new day, new outlook, always. And with the Fellowship of AA, we have tool, a toolkit which helps us. And it's based on 12 steps, 12 steps to live life well, to the good of good living. Sober, no more drinking, and that's reality, the reality of life without having to fix myself to live in it. What a relief. So I share about AA, and as I say, I don't represent it, and I don't want to. But it's saved my life on a daily basis. It 
the people in AA saved my life on a daily basis by being there and by sharing their experience, strength and hope. So I'm going to share the AA preamble which is on this little card here and this is what it says. Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution. It does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. And that's the fellowship. That's what the fellowship stands for. Share experience, strength and hope. Look to the solution. Inclusion at any level. In fact, there are no levels. It's a very flat organisation. And anybody in the fellowship doing some service is a trusted servant. They do not govern. So we do not have power over our fellows. And that is the exact way it was set up. No rules, laws or regulations in the fellowship but we look to doing the right thing based on what we know and that really applies to a lot of what's been reported recently for me in the newspapers and also what politicians are saying about the relationship between the media and the, the media the press and politicians politicians are arguing that it wasn't their fault the newspapers saying we just did it because that was allowed but it wasn't it broke the rules and taking responsibility is also part of our fellowship philosophy and what do we see at the moment in our politics and media how not to take responsibility to shut something down and run away from it and say we didn't know it's like the three unwise monkeys seeing the evil hearing the evil and doing nothing about it but in fellowship we don't do that we are looking to be open, honest and willing to change learn humility, learn from our mistakes and move on and I'm relieved because it means I can move on I can admit my faults and take responsibility and face the consequences face the consequences these days so it's not about cover up and run away shame and guilt it's about standing, being open, honest and willing to face the consequences of past actions and also today's actions that's how it works for me so in a way I'm quite pleased to salute Harry Potter and with regret to say goodbye to a media newspaper which has been around for 168 years but it was corrupt anyway that's just how I see it so yesterday mixed bag of stuff going on and being out and about and being with people and finding that my bank account has been completely screwed up and having to start again with that could cause me quite a lot of aggravation because I have no bank cards, no way of accessing money without going to a branch and with my bank there aren't that many and how do I view it? Well, in some ways it's done me a favour I can watch my spending by not spending anything So today, how am I feeling? Well, some of my thoughts for the today are based on AA daily reflections. So I'll share the AA daily reflections, which, is, which are all about the steps. And this month, July, is about step seven, dealing with the shortcomings I have. And my shortcomings often fall into the category of lack of faith, lack of courage, lack of fortitude, and lack of confidence. So if I can work on my faith, courage, fortitude and confidence to do the next right thing, life may be a bit better. So this is what the daily reflection says. And be aware that the word God is of your understanding, whether you're atheist, agnostic or believer. At some stage in your life you've probably been all of those things. And where you, you settle in your views and opinions is quite right for you. So, and it's quite wrong for me to challenge them. But God is mentioned, that's fine by me. And I'm coming to understand truth, love and wisdom are the foundation stones of good conscience and a connection to God as there may be. So AA Daily Reflections, an ever-growing freedom, July 8th. The seventh step 
is where we make change in our attitude which permits us with humility as our guide to move out from ourselves towards others and toward God toward others and toward God for me toward others and in good conscience and toward God when I finally ask God to remove those things blocking me from him and the sunlight of the spirit I embarked on a journey more glorious than I ever imagined I experienced freedom from those characteristics that had wrapped me up in myself because of this humbling step I feel clean I am especially aware of this step because I am now able to be useful to God and to my fellows I know that he has granted me strength to do his bidding and has prepared for me for anyone and anything that comes my way today I am truly in his hands and I give thanks for the joy that I can be useful today which is where I often say to love, be loved and useful and wisdom comes through other people and situations where solutions happen but I learn as much from problems and painful aspects of living and sometimes that can just come in the way of writing to somebody and not getting a reply or them writing to me and not getting a reply and I've got a guilty conscience about a couple of emails I need to reply to soonest that's just me but what that inspired in me and has done over the years so this morning I was thinking, thinking to myself or feeling it really short on courage, faith and confidence question one, am I? yes, sometimes contingent on the day I ask I can work on living to the good of life with good conscience I can deal with life's difficulties with a positive outlook and my actions are about solutions and not making the problems more difficult for me and anyone else which is why when I went to the bank with all my passports and ID stuff and they said you've got a small amount of money in your savings account it's earning 0.01% why not put it in this account and earn 2% not much change there but at least it was a positive way forwards rather than being on nothing I got something and although I've been messed about and it's down to banking failures if you like I don't need to make it worse by injecting some venom from me because how can the staff be blamed when it's a directive and it's down to their IT department and failures in the big picture rather than failures of humans or particular humans I encounter yeah and then I don't know why this came to me I think it's because you know sometimes we think carefully about people who have gone from our lives and I was thinking about my dad and in the es in essence this sort of this was what, what I was feeling fear f sorry faith was not part of my upbringing that's faith in anything really fear shame and guilt and covering up made life difficult and that's what I learned not to talk about anything there is no blame and no resentment of those times in my life because there isn't but there was before faith in good conscience courage and confidence to learn to understand and to let go and let good and God guide me today I realize that my father had the hardest of times he was thrown out thrown away adopted and then challenged by the impact of what happened to his adopted parents and their war, war experiences growing up in a harsh environment a clever person with no outlet a second world war which damaged him and he came back looking for a, a land fit for heroes and he found a land unfit for anything and huge disappointment about life and resentment and anger which was only let go in the last few months when he realized we loved him regardless of him being an old rogue of that the power of love past years an ever growing freedom free to learn free of judging others free of looking down on others free of being found out free to free of compare and despair I'm happy to learn more happy in not knowing and finding out humility used to be well I didn't really understand what humility meant really it just simply means an open attitude to learning and the humility to 
say it's okay to be a learner. Humility, an attitude of open, honest and willing, a bigger picture of who we are becoming today. And again, fear, ego, courage and faith. Simple words to describe feelings we all have experiencing life. Extreme experiences and extreme behaviour. We can be stuck and unbalanced and blocked. Which is, if we're stuck with fear, we react and respond with fear. And ego covers up shame and guilt. On the other hand, courage and faith to keep and humility to learn keep us going and moving forwards. In recovery, we develop balance as we may. As life experience changes us, sometimes quickly, often slowly, we are open to change today. And from being a completely shut down individual with no prospects of life at all, those horrible days of dark when I couldn't even get outside my head, couldn't see, couldn't hear, and I was blinkered completely, obsessed about covering up and not wanting to, the world to see me, neither family, friends, nor society. And that obsession of rightness got me into all sorts of scrapes along the way. And I can see it in what's going on with a media organisation. The obsession about not being found out. The obsession and about covering up and it wasn't my fault and denial of the truth and when people cannot take responsibility for what they were running organizing managing and making profit out of it tells you a lot about their very extreme behavior and how extreme the behavior was of politicians to go along with it for many years until horror upon horror it was completely out of hand and the evidence is out there and no one believes the liars. So these days, I've learned a lot about open, honest and willing, changing behaviour, making the amends properly, accepting the consequences of actions. I'm not saying, well, I didn't know. That was never acceptable in my, in my managerial career. And it was never acceptable in law. And it was never acceptable in any other place where responsibility for humans that we have around us is an imperative you know, but for the grace of God they say in extreme circumstances many things happen because people are driven by what they are told and what they feel and getting out of that the addiction to some behaviours if you like can be as hard as substance removal if you like as well so interesting times <coughs> I've never read Harry Potter I ought maybe who knows? That is something for me to look at. I haven't been a good reader over the last few years, except of things to do with recovery. And that's, I suppose, consumed a lot of my time. But now again, now and again, these days, I'm getting balance. So I'm going to work on some photos later, if I get time. My hobby, my pastime, and being a part of life, sharing. The serenity prayer, which helps me at any time, in any day, about the can-do and can't-do of life. You know, we are powerless over people, places and things, but we can influence choices. But we have to live in real life, real life on life's terms. And that's what the Serenity, serenity Prayer does, whether you're agnostic, atheist or believer. It's a prayer, meditation, an exhortation to looking out for what is right, or the next right thing to do. So here it is, to God or in good conscience. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. The can do, or rather the cannot change, I cannot change other people's outlooks, attitudes and behaviour, and impose mine on them. I can change my own attitudes and behaviour and look to solutions and learn the wisdom on a daily basis. Life is all about learning, adapting and being part of, included in what is good for us and letting go and letting good things happen and also letting go the bad things that can happen. All good and it all works just for today 
and in the moment of now.